I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question which is sometimes difficult for students to explain. Now in this communication section we have couple of questions which are very typical and I like you to pause the video copy these questions answer and then look into my suggestions. Now let me take up the very first part of question 8 which is describe the arrangement of the following planes in R3 given the augmented matrix of equations and the reduced row equivalent matrix of equations. Now let's look into it in greater details. So what we have here is an augmented matrix and now if you perform the row reduction in proper order then you may get this kind of a solution. Now from here what do you infer? That is what we're trying to understand. Now, if you analyze this particular scenario, what you notice is that uh, since this line 0, 0, 0, 0 is there, it indicates that there are two parallel planes, right? So this indicates uh, there are two parallel planes. Now, if you notice the original augmented equation, uh, the normals are 2 minus 3, 5. 6 minus 9, 15, 4 minus 6, 10. Now, if you consider these two planes, let's say this is plane pi 1, this is plane pi 2. In that case, we can get all these three values by scalar multiple of 3, right? So, that means the normal n1 is equals to, in this case, 2 minus 3, Five, that is the normal n1 and n2 is actually 3 times 2 minus 3 5 so that is how it is if you write the equation of the plane pi 1 in that case pi 1 could be written as 2x minus 3y plus 5z equals to 1 and pi 2 could be written as 6x minus 9y plus 15z equals to 3, right? You see that. So that is how you could write them. And from here, you could clearly see that these are overlapping planes, right? So if I multiply the first equation by 3, the whole equation by times 3, we get pi 2. So times 3, this is equals to pi 2, right? So that means these two planes are coincident, right? So we could kind of sketch these planes as, let us say this is pi 1 for us, and pi 2 is just overlapping. Do you see that? So it is overlapping. So that is how these two planes are. So we'll say these two are overlapping planes pi 2 and this is pi 1 for us. Now how about the third plane? If you analyze the third plane pi 3 then pi 3 could be written as 4x minus 6y plus 10z equals to minus 2. Now in this particular case as far as the normal is concerned n3 N3 is definitely 2 times N1, right? N3 is definitely 2 times N1, but the values for D are different, right? That point is different, do you understand? So that means if we consider X, Y, Z at 0, in that case, the intercepts, their intercepts are different. So D is different, right? Which is minus 2. So this indicates that N3, so from here what we infer is that plane N3 is parallel to N1, right? And uh, or N2, or N2, both, right? Whereas plane N1 and N2 are, we can write, are coincident 
as shown here. So when we say that it is parallel, then we are trying to say that the third plane is kind of like this. Do you see that? Now since the third plane, pi 3, is parallel to the other two, there is no solution for these two. So this system is inconsistent. So we'll write this as inconsistent system. Right. So that is how we can sketch and show how it really looks like. I hope this helps to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.